this is just healthy quick tips and I've already tried to film this and then after 10 minutes of rambling realized this was not it wasn't quick tips so let's see if I can do this <laughs> my first quick tip is to incorporate more vegetables and more importantly green leafy vegetables I was reading looking at someone's YouTube video and how they absolutely hated anything that was green or something I don't remember what it was and um, I think that it's really how you prepare things I grew up in a household where my parents knew how to you know cook things up and it had lots of seasoning and taste and so I never there there's only one thing I do not like in the vegetable family lima beans <laughs> I don't like lima beans. Actually, I'm not really fond of arugula, but I'll eat it. I don't really like anything overly bitter. But anyway, to get more greens in your diet, you can put it in a pizza by sautéing it with um, onions, peppers, you know, maybe some mushrooms or whatever you like on your pizzas, and sauté all that together, throw it on the pizza, and bake it. Um, and yes, you can make your own pizza. Maybe I'll do a, one of my cooking videos. You'll probably see that, because I do make that very often. It's very quick to make. And it can be quite healthy if um, you have the right ingredients. Um, you can make a soup with more greens. You already have other vegetables in there and a, a nice hearty green. And one that I'm actually thinking of it off the top of my head, off the top of my head, is some um, Swiss chard. And it is, um, and I'll link it, uh, put a link below so you can see what that green is. And it's a hearty enough green that when it's boiling, um, you know, from and cooking and simmering um, in a soup, it won't lose its texture and get all weird. Because, like, you know, if you use something like spinach in a soup, after a while, it's just going to kind of fall apart into nothing, and it's kind of, ugh. I mean, unless that's what you like. You could put spinach at the end of it, of the cooking time if you really want spinach, just so that it has time to wilt and then take it off. The, I mean, you could even do that off the heat. That's one way to get your greens. You can put in a stir fry. I will just dice it up really fine into um, in a chiffon. I don't, know if I, I don't know how to explain that. You just kind of roll it up and you cut it finely and it kind of gives you this ribbit, ribbon type of cut. Then you can kind of cut it another way if you think it's too long. If they're really big pieces. Saute it up and put it in whatever you usually make in a stir fry um, and then you can have whatever on the side, you know, rice, noodles, what have you, or by itself, whatever you like to do. So that are, those are my quick tips for greens. Another quick tip is snacks. I always like to snack. So if there's bad snacks in the house, I will snack on them. And if they're good snacks in the house, I will snack on them. Um, they have, again, it has to be about flavor. And so, um, you know, if you're used to a lot of sugary things and just a lot of overly salted, overly sugary things. You might even consider going on a detox before you start slowly working your way through some healthier options because I'm, from experience, going back to things that I ate five, ten years ago, I just think, wow, this thing is really salty or wow, this thing is really sweet or sugary, like sugary sweet because I like sweet, but there's a point where it's like, you know, it hurts your teeth to even think about it. Um, <laughs> Um, so you might even consider that to just give your taste buds, like, to balance them out so that you can then really start to, um, appreciate healthier foods. But anyway, even before that, you know, just take one thing. Go to the grocery store and say, okay, I'm going to try this today. Go on forums and people will tell you what's good and what's not. Because, you know, just because it says healthy doesn't mean it has to taste like cardboard because that's disgusting and who wants to eat cardboard really I don't one of the things I would like to say is one of my one of my, the crackers that I like and my husband likes as well is the Mary's organic crackers they're like um they're not even baked I think they're dried or something I think they're like something like that but anyway it's basically a whole bunch of lovely whole grains and flax seeds and sesame seeds and this one's in caraway which I like um, they also have onion flavor that I like and there's a black pepper that's kind of kind of spicy I mean you know it's not not the, it's not really that spicy or anything but and there's original but now that I've started using the flavor stuff forget it so I will eat a few of these, um, usually with something else, some cheese. 
or some, and when I say cheese, it could be low-fat cheese. If you're going to go low-fat cheese, I suggest you get a low-fat or, I don't even know. I don't think they have no fat where we are, but I know they do in the States sometimes. They have no fat items. If you're going to do that, go for old cheese. You know, don't go for medium, um, like cheddar cheese. Go for old cheddar cheese or something that has a little extra something to it. If you're going to go light, go with maybe a Monterey Jack light cheese that has some spices or and peppers or something to kind of give it some cake because otherwise, some, well, some products, some are better than others, and it just, it just makes it more cheesy. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Um... Personally, I've decided to just go organic, and I just eat less cheese. So on my pizza, I just put a little less cheese. Um, I mean, obviously enough to cover pizza, but not like a puddle of cheese at the when it's melted. And I actually prefer that, personally. Or I'll just have a couple, I'll just cut how much I should eat and have that with these crackers. Or I'll have it with hummus. And this I just got from Whole Foods. They have like a buy one get one right now. And this is Greek olive and Greek olive and garlic. And I also got one called uh, with red pepper, roasted red peppers. It's just like it's bright red. Mm. But anyway, um, I usually make my own because I, I'm actually finding this a bit thick. Some people like get thicker, but I kind of like it more creamy, where it's just seems more decadent. Like you're eating something totally not good for you, but it is. And I also like to season my hummus with um, smoked paprika. It's very good. It's just like this smoky, like almost bacony, smoky kind of taste to it. Mm, it's so good. But anyway, <laughs> and I put that. I also put that in stews and stuff. But we'll get to that later. Obviously, you can have vegetables. I know everyone talks about you know you can snack on vegetables, carrots, celery. Um, snap peas, peppers if you like peppers, um, you know, broccoli obviously, broccoli is really good. Another thing is for a quick tip, and I think this is going to have to be the last one because it's getting, I want to try to keep this under 10 minutes, is um, prepackaged coleslaw. It's basically just shredded cabbage with like carrots, and sometimes it's got purple cabbage in it. Um, sometimes you can even get shredded broccoli, like it's a broccoli slaw, and I've used that too, and it's very good. And this is very multi-purpose. It's not just for coleslaw, although you can have it with coleslaw. But you can also throw that in stir fries, and as quick as, I don't know what, you just throw that in instead of all your other vegetables. Or maybe you throw that in and you have some mushrooms or something you can dice up, or already diced up, because you can get those store pretty diced up if you like. Um, and a few other ingredients, some fish or chicken or shrimp or whatever you put in your stir fry and there's dinner. Also throw that in the soup. You can also put it in a salad to kind of give it some extra crunch. There are many 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 ways to be healthy. Do it and and not it's not like some long laborious process um long laborious process, excuse me. And um, it can be really tasty. Don't forget your herbs and spices and pepper. Salt and pepper, people. Salt and pepper are your friends. I mean, you don't have to go crazy with salt. But look, if you're salting your stuff after you've cooked it, then something's wrong. You should be doing that while you are cooking your food. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, lots of different herbs, maybe a, a salt-free um, seasoning, salt, or, you know, what have you makes all the difference in the world. I've done like home, I've gone and gotten um, pizza that's from the store that you bake it that you, you know in your oven, brought it home and just put nothing but um, you know whatever onions, peppers, saute, whatever I did and some oregano on the pizza. Even if it's nothing I do and it's just a cheese pizza and you throw some oregano on the pizza, maybe some red pepper flakes or some black pepper, bam. Okay, so so please just season your food so that you enjoy it because it is not worth going healthy or if you be trying to go vegetarian or whatever, if you're trying to do it and it's all bland and you don't like it. It's got to be to your taste. So that is my ramble, and I hope these tips were um, 
helpful to you. If you have any tips, but throw them down there for everybody else. Um, because, you know, we should learn from each other. Because I can always hey, give me some tips. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.